Do you need help setting up your microscope or making a wet mount slide? View our instructional videos on the compound microscope setup and making a wet mount slide or ask a TA for help during your lab. Hello and welcome to the tutorial video for preparing a slide of human epithelial cells stained by methylene blue. In addition to slides and cover slips, you will need a toothpick provided at your desk by your TA and methylene blue stain available at the side sink. Since you are using stain, gloves will be available if you choose. Finally, you will need your cheek, which should be located within your mouth. Place a clean microscope slide on a flat surface. Place a drop or two of methylene blue stain in the center of your slide. Methylene blue is used in this preparation because it stains DNA dark blue, like the DNA in the cells of your hand. If you do get the stain on your hand, you may be looking blue for a while, so handle the stain carefully or use gloves. Pick up a toothpick and use the blunt end to gently scrape the inside of your cheek. We want to collect epithelial cells only, not blood cells. Stir the blunt end of the toothpick in the drop of stain on your microscope slide. Carefully apply a cover slip. If the stain appears to be very dark instead of light blue, place your slide between two pieces of paper towel and gently apply pressure to the cover slip to squeeze out some of the stain. Be careful not to apply too much pressure or your cover slip will break. Do not add distilled water as this will wash away the stain. Scan your slide using the four times objective. Cheek epithelial cells are difficult to find unless your microscope is set up properly. Be sure to check your condenser and close the iris diaphragm to adjust the light. It is impossible to avoid air bubbles completely with this preparation, but you may need to make another slide if there are large pockets of air or numerous air bubbles. With this stain, the cells often appear lighter than the background of your slide. A representative cheek cell will be isolated, not crumpled or broken, and have a distinct nucleus. Once finished with your preparation, take your slide to the sink. Carefully remove the cover slip and discard in the provided sharps disposal. Rinse and dry your slide and return it to the slide box.